Hi ho everybody, this is Rob with Ear Scouts. We are here at the Magic Kingdom for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. We're gonna be trying to ride every single opening day attraction today, but this place is packed. Let's see if we can do it. You ready? Let's go. We are recording this video on October 1st, which is the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. And our goal today is to ride every single opening day attraction. So what do we mean by opening day attractions? We are talking about all the rides that were here when the park first opened back on October 1st, 1971. There are actually a lot of opening day attractions that you can still enjoy here in the Magic Kingdom. And thankfully, we stayed at a Disney Resort last night, so we can take advantage of that early park entry and hit our first ride before this mass of people starts hitting the queue. All right, it's just before 9 a.m. We're here for our first ride of the day, Jungle Cruise. Let's go do it. So if you haven't been on the Jungle Cruise in a while, you might be surprised to see some new scenery on your next voyage. Disney changed some things up on the ride and also updated the queue with some lovely new artwork and props. Be sure to take the time to read all this stuff while you're waiting in line because there is a boatload of funny and clever details. So if you have not been to earscouts.com yet and you're a fan of Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room, I definitely recommend heading over, taking our Tiki 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 quiz. There's a link down in the description below. I sing so beautiful, I should sing so low. See, so low we can't hear you. about the Swiss Family Treehouse is it's always kind of dead. This is one of the busiest days of the year, probably the definitely the busiest day since the parks have reopened and it's really nice in here. It's kind of like a break from all the people in the park. So if you're feeling like overwhelmed, like you just can't deal with all the people, Swiss Family Treehouse is your spot to get a little break. So if you've never seen the movie I totally recommend checking it out on Disney Plus before you come to Disney World just because it really makes this attraction a lot cooler when you understand the story of everything that you're seeing. I mean, even if you haven't seen the movie, it's a cool treehouse, but, you know, on this grand scheme of Magic Kingdom attractions, this one's really maybe only worth it if you've seen the movie and you kind of know the backstory. 
unless of course you just want to get away from the crowds or get your steps in because there's a lot of stairs. We've made it to Grizzly Hall in Frontierland for our next opening day attraction, the Country Bear Jamboree. My extended family is all from the mountains of Virginia and they love the Country Bears. For me, it's very nostalgic because I remember all those family trips growing up and the Country Bears were always on our must-do list. I do need your help to get these doors open on the count of three. We're all going to say, yee-haw. All righty, one, two, three. Yee-haw! partner time to saddle up at the old frontier land shooting arcade it's, it's got that posture face you can't say shooting arcade it's shooting arcade also it's really hard to aim these rifles or maybe that's just me We have made it to Liberty Square for one of my favorite opening day attractions, the Hall of Presidents. If you're a fan of Disney history, then you know that Walt Disney was a fan of history history, and especially Abraham Lincoln, who was his favorite U.S. president. One of the reasons that I love this attraction, though, is because one of my best friends in the whole wide world is the narrator, and she is amazing. Next up on our list of opening day attractions is arguably the best opening day attraction. It's definitely my favorite opening day attraction. We're heading into the Haunted Mansion. One thing I wanted to point out as you are leaving the Haunted Mansion, you have to look for this little Easter egg of Mr. Toad's tombstone. Poor Mr. Toad. Gone, but certainly not forgotten. All right, we have made our way into Fantasyland. Our next opening day attraction, actually, believe it or not, only has a five minute wait. I kind of am in shock that It's a Small World is at a five minute wait right now, but it is. So let's go do it. Oh. 
Small World is a Mary Blair masterpiece. If you are not familiar with Mary Blair, do yourself a favor and Google her because she has done so much amazing work that you already know and love. Wait, Peter Pan's flight? No. Never do Peter Pan's flight in the middle of the day because the line is so much shorter if you just wait until a little later in the afternoon. Yeah, that'll work. Our next attraction is actually the oldest attraction in all of Disney World. This is Prince Charming's Regal Carousel, opening day attraction, but it wasn't built in 1971. This one was built all the way back in 1917. It was built in Detroit, Michigan, ended up in an amusement park in New Jersey where Disney found it kind of in disrepair. They decided to get it, rehabilitate it, put it right here in the center of Fantasyland for everyone to enjoy. Let's go take a ride. Next up is the Mad Tea Party. When this ride opened back in 1971, it actually didn't have a roof, but after two years of lovely Florida weather, Disney decided maybe we want a roof on this one. Are we ready to get dizzy? Of all the opening day attractions, if there's one that Disney really needs to overhaul, it's Tomorrowland Speedway. These cars are so ancient, they really don't belong in an area called Tomorrowland. But we're gonna go do it. <laughs> all right. This thing is actually really hard to drive. A lot of people make fun of this ride, and I am sometimes one of them. Definitely does need an update. Because we're in Tomorrowland, and this is a very gas-powered vehicle. You can smell the gas. It sort of smells like you're in a garage. But it's actually kind of fun. Like, I think if they could just update it with electric cars, this ride would be super fun. It's still super fun. I mean, if you're a kid and you can't drive, this is pretty awesome. Also, you get a really cool view of the Tron light cycle run, which I'm pretty excited about. Wow. The sky looks beautiful right now. I think it's actually really fun to just kind of let it drive itself. <laughs> In that way, I guess it is kind of a Tomorrowland ride. It, it is a self-driving car, so it does have that. <laughs> okay, I am really excited about this next attraction. Dumbo the Flying Elephant is actually one of my very first memories as a kid. And it's not my first memory because it's such an amazing ride. I mean, it is such an amazing ride, but that's not the reason that it's my first memory. The reason it's my first memory is because I was riding with my grandma. And the whole point of Dumbo is you push this button and Dumbo goes up in the air. And when I pushed the button, my grandma said, don't push that button. You're going to break it. So 
we rode Dumbo <laughs> while everybody else was going up and down and up and down. We were on the ground, just going around and around. But that's one of my first memories and I cherish that memory. And I am so excited to be riding Dumbo the Flying Elephant at Disney World's 50th anniversary. So let's do it. I love you, Grandma. The mechanism, I feel like, has definitely changed since I was a kid. I am certain that when I was a kid, it was a button. And when you pushed it, you went up, and when you let go, you went down. And now, it's this very cool lever that you use. This is for you, Grandma, on the ground, staying on the ground. We just barely made it to the last ride of the night. Peter Pan's flight. We're gonna take this flight and then we're gonna head on over to see the Enchantment Fireworks. Let's go do it. Peter Pan's flight is one of the coolest cues in all of Magic Kingdom. I love these little bits of interactive magic and the Tinkerbell scenes are very clever and cute. This might be a hot take, but I think the queue might actually be cooler than the ride itself. by nothing but 50th anniversary joy and lots of Dole Whip, we have made it through every opening day attraction with just enough time to grab our spot for the fireworks. Thank you so much for watching. If you had fun following along with us, please do us a huge favor and like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We are a brand new channel, so every like and subscribe really helps us out a lot. We'll be rolling out a new video every Tuesday, so until next week, think happy thoughts, everybody. See you next week.